the slope is perpendicular, that means that the slope is the negative reciprocal. So we're going to take the slope and reciprocate it or flip it and take the negative. Um, the same y-intercept, so b is the same. So let's find those for each one to determine the equation. So we'll rearrange equation 1 to find m, or the slope. Rearranging means you isolate for y. Try to put it into slope y-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Let's divide everything by negative 4. You can see this cancels, which is our y isolated. It gives us 1 half x minus a half. So you can see that our slope from equation 1 is a half. Now to take the negative reciprocal, if we flip 1 half, that becomes 2 over 1, and the negative reciprocal, so it becomes negative 2. To find the y-intercept from equation 2, we'll rearrange into slope y-intercept form again, like y equals mx plus b. And careful not to take it just yet. You need to divide everything by 7 first because you need to isolate for y. You can see that gets us y equals negative 1 7 x plus 4 over 7. That's our y-intercept. So you can see dividing by 7 was important. So we get 4 over 7. Our equation combines these two things in slope y-intercept form. We get negative 2x plus 4 over 7. And that's our equation.